Good evening again. Uh, welcome back to my next journey video. The date is March the 19th, 2024. And the title for today is uh, Prostate Cancer Journey PET CT Scan at 0.2 PSA. Firstly, I'd just like to say a big thank you for all my subscribers, 1,300 of you. It's been absolutely fantastic over the last few months um, to get this amount. It's just mind blowing for me. And um, the views I'm getting as well is still steady. Uh, so I've still got a couple of videos out which are doing really, really well. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who's shown support uh, in watching these videos. And as from January the 20th, I'm now monetized. So any money will go to charities. And we're nearing the £100 mark, uh, which will go to a local charity, <coughs> Durham Cancer Care, which uh, are, are a local uh, community cha uh, charity here in Norfolk. And um, and they'll be um, appreciating that. So just get, for those who subscribe to me for the first time or watch me for the first time, should I say, I will give you an introduction from the start. Back in August 22, I went to Latvia with my partner on holiday and had a completely random blood test for no reason and um, the PSA came back at 5.6 so we had one the next day also come back 5.6 I come back to the UK and uh, done all the tests had the DRE which was the go and see the doctor uh, he couldn't find nothing I had the MRI I had a pyrads of two so it was favorable and um, then we had the the biopsies in November 22. <clears throat> Unfortunately, five of them come back positive, albeit a three plus four on the Gleason score. So it wasn't it wasn't so bad. So after having a good think of what I want to do, um, we decided on fourth uh, of April 2023 last year, nearly a year ago, we'd have the prostatectomy take it out. One of the videos I've done six weeks after, um, maybe my last prostate video, uh, reached 57,000 views around the world, with 46% being the Americans. And it's been absolutely fantastic, fantastic for me. And throughout 2023, we had a few more blood tests. And unfortunately, they rose to 0 0.1, which was from undetected. Um, and October was 0 0.1 and um, I went to see the consultant in December and um, done a video there and I've nearly got 50,000 videos views from that video so um, it's, it's, it's been brilliant and again as I've said before any money that I do make on YouTube is going to go straight into charity so um, there's only going to be one winner which is the charities Unfortunately, in January, it rose to 0 0.2, the PSA, and 0 0.2 is normally the signi uh, significant uh, result because it's normally a reoccurrence. So, again, I went to see the consultant urologist at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital here in the UK, Mr. Illy, and we had a good chat of um, what we we're going to do. And he basically said to me that um, at 0 0.2, they don't refer you. Here in Norfolk, the NHS Trust will wait till 0 0.4, so the PET CT scan can have a good chance of picking up. So I had a good good chat with him, and I asked him, was there a chance of me being referred to urology, oncology? Sorry. He said he would do his best. All he can do is um, he can try. He said he doesn't normally refer at 0 0.2. He would normally wait to 0 0.4, but he would said he would do it uh, do it for me which I appreciate, um, and he said what would probably happen, it would probably bounce back uh, to him saying, no, sorry, here in Norfolk is 0 0.4, um, sorry, the patient's just going to have to wait until 0 0.4. So from undetected to 0 0.1, and from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 took basically um, six months, so from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 could be up to a year, so it's a year wait of we don't know what's going on inside. So I expected nothing from the hospital, but I got a letter a couple of weeks ago to say, can I come and see the oncology department, Dr. Jenny Nobes, and have a discussion what's going to get, what could go on. 
uh, in, 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 in the future. And so it, for me, it was great that I'd been sort of like transferred over to oncology and the ball was rolling. So for me, it was good that um, it wasn't just about sitting and waiting for another year. Even though just being a chat, I thought I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. So um, that was booked in for today and um, more than happy with that. Uh, also last week, I got a phone call from the Norfolk and Norwich uh again to say that they were going to book me in for the PET scan which I was a bit miffed by because I didn't think that they would accept my referral. He said nope we've had your referral we've accepted it so uh, we'll book that in also and again I'm thinking a few months down the line but they said no also today which was the 19th. So my consultants meeting was nine o'clock and the PET scan was 11.50 so um, for me uh, every little bit of good news you have to cling on to. So um, I went up there today, had a chat with Jenny Nodes at nine o'clock, just to explain, we, we chatted about what can go on, what's this and what's that. And she said she thinks she probably know that uh, it's in the prostate bed, the piece was missed or um, just sort of come away. And she said it'd be four weeks of uh, radiation if, if, if we got that far. But she did say at 0 0.2 it would be unlikely to pick up on the PET CT scan, but we'd, we'd give it a go anyhow. So we left um, left her, and I did say that I've obviously I've got a, a scan today, and said she would want to see me next week, next Tuesday. So we went off to the um, CT PET scanner, and what happens basically there is um, you go into a room and they'll put a cannula in your, your arm just 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 there and because they're using radioactive material it's all done um, exact time and the um, I wasn't allowed to go early I wasn't allowed to be late because the radioactive material turned up at a certain time and it's only got a certain shelf life and I'm you only talking you know an hour or something hour and a half so basically they put a cannula in your arm Put the radioactive material as a tracer which will go around the body and I had to sit there 45 minutes <clears throat> to an hour just um, just waiting for the tracer to go around the body and basically what will happen is when you go for your scan uh, the scan the CT scan will pick up any it, it lights up it lights up inside you and when they're looking at the scan you know the the, the PSA or the prostate will light up hopefully so that was all done. Um, I say 45 minutes I fell asleep and um, then we went over to the PET scan. The PET scan is, um, yes you go into, it's like an MRI scanner but without all the noises. Um, the PET scan took probably 15, 15, 20 minutes. No hassle whatsoever. Uh, very comfortable in there and um, they said the results will be sort of three, three to four days to the to your doctor and then obviously results to you next week so we are where we are we're happy that we've um, got the scan we're happy that we've been able to see somebody and um, the ball is rolling so it's as good as I can be at the minute health wise I'm fine uh, no difference whatsoever um, so we're, we're exactly where we should be I think um, and I'm just glad that I'm sort of maybe six to nine months ahead of the game but it all depends whether it does pick up uh, the 0 0.2 or not. If it doesn't, it doesn't make much difference because we'll have one down the line. Probably have another PSA test in three months' time. Um, and maybe six months, it might be up to 0 0.3. And you just, you know, we'll just have to wait till it gets to 0 0.4. So I so say I'm just happy that we've been given a chance to have the scan. And as I say, as I spoke to the consultant, Mr. Rilly, I said to him, you know, at 0.2 it might not pick it up, but there's a chance that it might pick it up. And he, he did agree. He said you can have more than one PET scan. Uh, gives off very limited radiation. And um, we can have another one further down the line. So it's all good. Um, I will do another video next week to see and show you the results and, and where we go from there and what sort of time frame we could start the radiation I say it's four weeks not six weeks um, but uh, I say we'll we just got to wait and see where if it picks up so 
Um, thank you very much for watching. And again, thanks so much for everybody who has subscribed. Say 1,300 is, is amazing for me. And just say, every person who watches the video, uh, all the money will go to charity. As so I'm nearly at my first 100 pounds, and um, we'll soon get paid from uh, YouTube uh, with that. So I'm hoping to take the money to Durham Cancer Cancer Care next week, and uh, they'll be more than happy with that. So many thanks for for watching. And I say, if you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe, please hit the button. It doesn't cost nothing, and I'll update uh, next week with the results. So. Thank you very much for watching.